obviously, guys, I've, I've given this a huge amount of thought since um, since we returned from the World Cup and even before that. And uh, yeah, I don't come to this decision lightly. So um, I think it's the best in the best interest of myself and and the England team that I don't carry on into next year. So uh, you know, speaking to Rob yesterday, I asked. I told him I won't be uh, looking to renew my contract at the end of December. First of all, I'd just like to obviously place on record um, my personal thanks and the RFU's thanks for the, the work that Jono has put in over the last three and a half years. Um, I think when you work closely with somebody, you realise the effort um, that goes in. And from the, the first day that Jono took the job, um, he's worked tirelessly with the coaches to, to move the team forward. Um, the results over the last 12 months um, have seen the progress of the team. Um, we always said, and we've said, we've been very consistent right the way through this process that Martin would take the team to the 2011 World Cup. Um, we'd come back from the World Cup and, and then Martin would have a look uh, at whether he wanted to continue uh, in that role. Uh, I've tried to take the emotion out of a lot of it uh, and the disappointment. And obviously, yeah, the, the off the field things during the World Cup didn't help. I think it betrays the team, in a, in a, obviously in a bad light and not an accurate light. But that's that's where we were. You know, you can't you can't get away from that. We we uh, gave people the opportunity to report on us as they did. This decision, you know, obviously, even before the World Cup, you have thoughts about where you are and, and what you want to do post the. Um, post the World Cup, but no, it's, it's, it's not a knee-jerk reaction, it, it's a considered thoughtful um, decision that I've, that I've come to.